Happy Friday, everyone. You know, when it comes to Christmas, what kind of pictures come into your mind? So many of us hear words about meekness and mildness and silence and peace and a baby in the manger and cuddly and swaddly and all these words that maybe bring these strong feelings of warmth. Yet for so many, this Christmas is gonna be very different. I think of those who have lost loved ones for whom this Christmas is going to be very different and have a, another level of ache and grief attached to it. I think about all those who have gone through natural crisis and disaster and we think about them and this Christmas is going to be very, very different. And we think about also those who have gone through a, a diagnosis where once again they're hurting and wondering what is ahead. What does a meek and mild Christmas look like for them? Well, there's another side of Christmas that I wanna invite you to think about, and that is the power and the glory and the strength that happens at Christmas, where the kingdom of heaven collides with the kingdom of earth. It's where good looks at evil and says, this is not done yet. It's where there is an actual answer to the problems of this world, and that's in that manger. That baby is the king of kings. And so many of us will stand and sing this truth that he shall reign forever and ever. Amen. And if we go to the end of the book, we know that this story is true because the Bible tells us that. And as we go to Revelation 11, listen to the power of Christmas. This is where it starts with the colliding of the kingdom of heaven entering into the kingdom of this world. And as we look forward one day, we will see it in full. This is Revelation chapter 11, verse 15. The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you very much for this Christmas and for coming into this world as we remember you did not turn your back, but instead you entered right in. And while you came with meekness and mildness in the form of a baby, we may we never underestimate the power of Christmas and the power that comes from you, for you are truly God. And you took on this world, you took on our sin, you took on evil, and you conquered it at the cross. You rose again on the third day, and that means that as we look forward, there is going to be our, an opening of our eyes where we will see you face to face. And all the tears and all the grief, all the shame, all the pain will be gone forever. Be with us and bless us with the uh, words as we lift up our hearts and sing, You shall reign forever and ever. Amen.